very much. It's so, so great to be in Washington, D.C. the week after an election. You can just feel the electricity being shut off. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Seth Myers, and as some of you may know, I took over for Tina Fey as head writer when she left Saturday Night Live. You know, you often hear how hard it is for women in comedy, but I have to say, when I hear that, I always think, is it harder than being the guy who had to follow Tina Fey? Is it? Is it? <laughs> Following Tina Fey is like being the quarterback who follows Peyton Manning or being whoever was president after Bill Clinton. <laughs> Tina has won seven Emmys, three Golden Globes, four SAG Awards, and four Writers Guild Awards, and yet for some reason, we still feel the need to honor her tonight. In recent years, Tina has become both a TV and a movie star, and I think there's something ironic about her having the exact career Sarah Palin wishes she had. <laughs> it was amazing to watch Tina transform into Sarah Palin. I think the best way to describe it would be like watching Superman put on glasses to turn into Clark Kent. <laughs> Takes a second. But for all the jokes about how Tina and Sarah look alike, there is a world of differences. For example, we are all here tonight because Tina won something. <laughs> if I may uh, uh, speak uh, from the heart for a moment, I learned more uh, about being a comedy writer from Tina Fey than anyone else. Uh, the thing I always remember about her is she always had her sketch in her hand, all week long. It was a reminder to the rest of us that you could always be making your work better, always looking for one more joke. And I also learned that you should always keep the joke that you love, even if you think it might offend people. And if anyone has a problem with that, <laughs> I'm counting on you to uh, beep that, PBS. <laughs> one of my favorite pieces from SNL stars two of my comedy heroes, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Enjoy.